Hi, it's Alex from Usage Craft, and today we're gonna make this cloud applique. Um, you can use this by itself, or you can put it on projects. Um, I put it on top of my rainbow mug koozie, so the cloud just kind of accents the rainbow part. But it's pretty easy, it's just two rounds. You'll use single crochets, double crochets, and triple crochets. And you'll just need white yarn, um, an H five millimeter hook, and then scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. Um, let's go ahead and get started with the cloud. You're gonna begin by chaining nine. So you'll just make your slip knot. So now you, we have nine chains, and you're going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So you'll skip number one and number two, and then put your double crochet here. Yarn over. And then we're going to do five single crochets. We'll just do one in each chain. One. Two. So if you look, you'll know that you have one chain left. We're gonna do four single crochets into that one final chain. And as you do this, you should start to be You'll start to see your chain naturally turn around, which is perfect because we are going to start crocheting on the opposite side. So now we have these four single crochets. And we're gonna continue kind of like how we did on the front. So the first thing we're gonna do is five single crochets in the next, well, one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, And then in the last space, which is where you should have your chain two and your double crochet coming off of, um, we are going to ch double crochet four. Oops, and you'll want to yarn over first. So you might be able to see it, but this will be the very first little cloud puffy. <laughs> I honestly don't know what they're called. So the next thing you're gonna do is join to the top of that first chain two, where we skip those two stitches. So one, two, and we're gonna slip stitch up on the top. And 
and we're gonna slip stitch in the top of that double crochet. And then we're gonna do some treble or triple crochets. So to start these, you're gonna yarn over twice. And then in that first single crochet, we're going to do six treble or triple crochets. So here's our second little cloud puff. The next thing you're gonna do is skip two chain or single crochets. Here's one, two, and then we're gonna slip stitch in this one. And then in this next stitch, we're gonna do four double crochets. So now we have three little cloud puffs. Uh, we're gonna skip one chain, or single crochet, sorry, and then we're going to slip stitch in the next one, if you can get your hook into it. And then this next part is going to be a big puff. So we're going to crochet 10 triple or treble crochets into the next stitch. So that is your fourth cloud puff. So again, because of the triple crochets, we're going to skip two. So one, two, and then we'll slip stitch in the next one. And in this You're going to crochet more triple crochets. So we are shooting for eight. Okay, so now we have the five little puffs from the cloud. One, two, three, four, five. 
and again we'll skip two, one, two, and then slip stitch in the third space. And that is it. So you'll trim your yarn and use your tapestry needle to weave in your ends. Um, I also like to use my tapestry needle to kind of close some of the holes in the middle of the cloud. As you can see, there's some spaces. And so as you weave, you can kind of weave to close those up a little bit. They just happen because we put so much in the same chain. you can close them up a little bit by just strategically <laughs> weaving in your ends. <laughs> 